Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You and welcome to part 97 of my let's play of Amayui Castle Meister. Today we get to have another battle with Kaolmerg. And it's going to be a long battle, so let's get right into it. So following Katarito's guidance into our Ka Kaolmerg's Mist Dragon's Dwell, we get to the home base. Surprisingly, there aren't any battles on the way there. It seems a good number of the dragons that used to be following Karmeric are either trusting in Katarito at this point or just waiting to see the outcome of the battle before taking sides. And there's, it's probably the former, actually since she's shown her true dragon form and completed her trials, and all. Seeing how they act, it's probably the former, yes. But that doesn't mean everything is solved yet. To think that they would follow him this quickly. It seems they understand the logic of the battlefield. As usual, he's got this shit-eating smile on his face. That was a poor description of his smile. It would be more of a condescending smile. In any case. So we're here to finish him off at his home base. Thanks to us coming as quickly as we did, he hasn't been able to regroup his forces. Especially his injured soldiers. But he can still fight. And today he was going to cut the bloodline of the lightning dragons once and for all. So he still intends to do it, huh? Well, we seem to be prepared. But this time Karmarik isn't hasn't got as many soldiers as before. <laughs> Well, he is surprised that so few soldiers have kept around his banner. He tried to raise some soldiers in a hurry, but it seems he's down to simply the mist dragons that were under him originally and the others that he had managed to unify aren't following him any longer So the other factions of the dragon tribes by not following him are all but saying that they don't like him. And with all this, it cannot be. You cannot help but think that he only has a slight chance of winning now. And so, even though. Even so, in order to put an end to this, he's done his best to raise soldiers. I was kind of expecting a surprise attack on the way here, actually. But taking things like that, it would not show a victory properly. Especially after having lost in a larger battle earlier. Well, 
我らの誇りを示すことができる唯一の道なのだ So they the same as us gather up our forces and clash them together and that is our way of showing our pride Yeah whatever you say Now you're talking about pride and not doing sneak attacks but Our first encounter you tried to knock out Fia from the very start Heh Just talking about pride as it happens to be convenient at the moment I suppose But in any case more than his chance of victory He really wants to have a big battle here All right, so the dragon tribes, pretty much all of them, have already accepted Katorito as the heir to the leadership. So Katorito thinks that there isn't any meaning to fighting at this point. So let's talk it out and handle things that way. No! Well, he's got a point here. He, his faction did strike first and furthermore attacked non-combatants. So he believes that this can't be done any other way but by the extermination of him and his followers. So until it is clear which one of us is completely defeated, we just have to continue fighting in order to prove which one's stronger. Bleh. Dragon and pride and bullshit. Oh, I almost got this. So in the end, you're just going to resist until the bitter end. Is that the choice? Basically, yeah. Okay, he says that he has to make a place for his followers to fall in. They who have believed in him as the Ice Lord and followed him need to have a place to die with honor, I guess. <laughs> well, hearing this from Kalamar, Katarito clenches up her little fists. Hua! <laughs> okay, she understands. <laughs> If we can't solve this problem in any other way by fighting, then let's just get this over with. So a good decision, Kalmega says. She has more or less grown up to have some stones. So, as he promised before, he will let her meet Shiuketul again. So, enjoy a moving reunion in the underworld. Ha. So, she's already met her father again. So, she's going to reject his considerate offer. Alright, here we go. Alright then. For the sake of everybody, she's going to unify the Thunderhead Sea. Well, the Thunderhead Sea is kind of a region, but it's also the people in it, I suppose. 
That's how she says it anyway. So even though it's only a 40 turn battle, it lasts a long time. Oh, wait. Katarito, you're too high level. Leave. I have level 28 characters to attend it's to. So this battle has a lot of in it. And uh, let's see. Next up is my last two Yuiki. Shutsugeki! Ruren doesn't have a lot of uses, but there are a couple of enemies he is well that he is extremely well suited to fighting around here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to have to send her back today. I'm going to have I and you out today, but they're just support characters. I, of course, is a healer, and you is a miner and teleports and all that shit. Yeah, this will be fine. Is it obvious that I don't like dealing with traps? Hmm. Oh yeah. What was I doing? Oh yes, we were fighting ghosts last time, so I unequipped his crossbow and put it on the angel glove. Bleh. It's actually really dangerous to have Deethelm attack these flying dragons. They have three range in counterattack, and they have the man-killer ability that adds 10 to their attack, and they're so fast they can hit, get three hits on him. This in total would do 87 damage, killing him in one exchange. In counterposition we can take pot shots at this guy over here. Hmm, yeah, let's do it. I'm a little hesitant, for reasons that will become clear later, but I'm gonna do it. Shutsugeki! So I'm gonna have two healers backing me up. Oh yeah, range attacks. Area of effect attacks. This should be pretty easy. In my trial run, this guy threw a ranged attack this turn instead of a melee attack. This makes it so much easier. So, Princess, sorry for being late. So, it looks like a generic guy. Everybody, please lend me your power. <laughs> so, in order to become leader of the dragons, she's going to show her power here. <laughs> well, yes, their lives exist for Katoriro's use. So, yeah, these guys show up. They're so goddamn annoying. Uh, not yet. Oh, jeez. 
These storm dragons really are a pain in the ass. Okay, no capturing. Instead, I'm going to have Eol do a mercy kill with her abilities. Now, I see how bad those that man killer b skill is. Really messes us up. And two mythical beast claws. I like getting doubles. Yes, I do. Yeah, I already attacked this guy once, and now I'm gonna attack him again just because. Hmm. Uh, he just doesn't do enough damage to finish them off. Well, whatever. It's experience at the very least. Actually, you know what? Let's just hold the line for a minute. Maybe this guy will come in range of Mikeyu next turn. Yeah, kill him, kill him! Nope. Yeah, this is what Rurin is basically made for. He'll chew these guys up. And since Rurin can fly as well, in the next room where there's a considerable amount of deadfalls, you bastards. You bastards is your bastardy bastardness. So the problem here, obviously, is that these guys kill enemies, taking away my experience and my items. And they say they're here to help. Hmm. Hero drink. Small. Three of them. Bleh. Once again, keep Deedhelm out of the action with the storm dragons. They'll chew him up. Actually, let me take a look. On occasion, the spawn with slightly less attack. No, that's slightly more attack. It would kill him even worse. Come on, I need to find a way to kill this guy. Oh, I know. I'll have Ruin weaken it, and then Detail will finish him off. Oops. Yeah, Detum should probably be able to kill that without dying. Uh, provided he's not wielding that lightning. Yeah, 40... Ah, crap. I need more range. This will do. 33 damage. 100% hit rate. Perfect. Oh, and anti-air. Plus three damage. It's just a little, but it's sufficient. Healers are great. Okay. Fucking rat kill. Rat bastards. Kill stealing. Rat bastards. There is a little bit of good news. At the very least, they're going to deal with all the control problems of getting through 
a room filled with enemies. A couple of enemies that you can't defeat. In my trial run, I just tried to keep them from doing anything, but in the end, I'm just going to give up, let them do whatever the hell they want. I think I'll take a turn or two to heal up and let them get themselves killed. Eventually. As you can see, they can chew up the storm dragons. Because these guys who join me are fire elemental and these guys are weak against fire. But they're going to get to this flame drag, this dark hydra, which is all but immune to their attacks. And then they're going to die like dogs. <laughs> Mm, okay, healing time. Actually, Ruin is quite valuable up here, so I'm going to move him in. These guys just have a physical attack, so they won't attack you. I'm probably gonna attack the dragon, the uh, dragon newt there, get himself killed. What I tell ya? Oh, hey, this means that I can come in with Rurin, kill the dragon, and get my experience. Before I forget, Rudin, kill this dragon. There you go. Now, okay, let me talk to you about these fortresses here. For one thing, you see the circle icon around it? That's not part of the fortress, it's actually a effect on the square. It's a perfect barrier and no units can enter it. They're already there so they can continue to exist there, but I can't move into melee range and attack them. And on the other hand, they have this ability. Ranged nullification, meaning they do not receive ranged attacks from enemies either. So, they're perfectly invulnerable and you can't do anything about them. Their attack is a wave of five squares damaged throughout the whole square. So this one goes through these five squares or these five squares. This one goes like here and there. I make a point of avoiding it as much as possible, but... Well, we'll see a few waves. Now, who's next? Uh, you're not important enough. I'm going to try to get Mikio some experience in here. But largely it will be Rurin and... Hmm. I wonder whom else I'm going to rely on in here. My ghosts are so useful. Ha 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 ha! Die, motherfuckers! No, oh, this could be bad. If this Dark Hydra moves forward a square, then this guy will keep attacking him. 
But since he'll attack back, uh, maybe he'll be able to kill him in one round. Ah, well, let's worry about it another time. Oh, free shot. Long range attacks are good. Those guys only have three range, not four. Actually, in contrary, this Dark Hydra might decide to do an area of effect hitting four of my characters. Or right ahead of him hitting four of those characters. Well, everything should be fine. Probably. Hmm. You doesn't need the experience, but I want to weaken these guys for ruining next turn. Oh yes, she's here for healing purposes, but she can't hit anybody. No! The, you! I... that's... Uh. I'm going to kill all these people so hard that they will die from the killing I give them. Damn it. This is the worst. That bastard killed off that... My... Prey right there. So now I'm gonna have to figure out... Wait for another one to come out and kill it. And he's going to move forward next turn unless I take the square. <sighs> Shut the fuck up over our I'm thinking. <sighs> Small heroism potions again. Yeah, oh, fuck. Oh yeah. A bunch of my characters were hit by that area effect attack. Most of them weren't damaged too badly, but Eel kind of took it in the shorts. Eel is actually a pretty bad character to be trying to use in, in this map. Weak against fire. Weak against holy, weak against... Actually, he could take on the storm dragons pretty... Hey look, a storm dragon! Well... Next up is that Flame Hydra moving one square forward. Or perhaps attacking Rurin instead. Hey, this is the best outcome I could ask for. And Rurin's not ideal to be fighting the Dark Hydra, but he can hold his own and I've got a healer in range. Oh. Eel has a mercy ring on. Well, hell, let's mercy the hell out of this bastard. My ally can't hit him. Kodo 
And now that my, the ally is not being healed by this feather anymore, he can do what he needs to do and die a horrible death. Alright, let's swap out that mercy ring for a capture. Do I want to try this? Nah, leave it to Rudin. No, oh, free shot. Well, Dethelm could do this, but I'm going to leave that one to heal. And knock this guy down a peg. Let's put the flight ring on Fia, so she can fly around. I mean, there's not much use for her besides healing, so... Her mobility is a big bonus. Hmm... Wait for it. This Dark Hydra needs to kill our ally down there first. That was crappy, Ruin. Do better. Capture. Haha. Kodo Kaisha. Hmm. And see if I wait another turn, I can get it with Mikeyu. She'll probably get a level up soon, and I'll get double drops. So hell, why not? You know, by this time, this guy should be done recovering his, what's it called, his area of effect attack. So I don't want Eel to be standing here anymore. She isn't fully healed yet. And... This is the only square from which she is safe from that, although she'll take a wave from that castle up north. Instead of throwing its area of effect attack, it decides to attack Mikeyu. Actually, this could kill her. Ha! Good luck for me. Oh. Well, yeah, whatever. First priority. Capture this thing and get two items from it. Probably level up. Not yet. Actually, she has quite a ways to go.
actually. Take that back, d -Town. I want you standing here. That way, next turn, you can attack this guy without it retaliating. Alright, healing time. I've always just basically here to fix this statue up here when... No, oh, I can't see it. There's a statue up there. He needs to fix it. Oh, wait. Ruderin is... Got his level 29 already. Let's see if we can't get detail on my level. Or at least a kill. Now this enemy is well suited for Rurin, but he already's got his level up. I think I'll run in with Yorin. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? No, we need to keep weakening this guy. Now, Detail might stand a chance at capturing him. Almost, um, yeah. He should do it. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh. Come to think of it, Yorin can't actually walk on air, so he's gonna have to do nothing but counterattacks in order to hurt that. Oh, derp. I keep telling myself I need to not do that, and then I do it anyway. What? No, not fair. Take backs. Take backs, I say. Actually, no, you know what? She doesn't need to be closer. That just means that she gets hurt. Alright, capture attack. It does less damage, so it won't kill it. Oh, give me a break. But I guess we can rely on Mikeyu. 20-20. Well, she won't do enough damage either. experience. No oh, detail can capture this one. I forgot to point out, some of these dragons are different. The other ones were kind of gray, slightly green, but this one is gray, slightly blue. These are ice dragons, and the ones that come out of the two whirlpools were storm dragons. I suppose these mist dragons would be better. That is... What's-his-face's natural allies? Oh, Yorin could do this from the beginning. Well, like I said, free experience. What? 
<laughs> That's ridiculous. Are you trying to deny me my rightful captures? Seriously. Hmm. Doing fairly well on healing now. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have even moved you in there just yet. I'm used to him being invulnerable, but those guys... Ouch. Yeah. These guys actually can't hurt him. And he's not really got a lot of life right now. All right, take a pot shot and run away. All right, detail. I'm thinking just attacking the thing will give him his level up. So I will save the kill for me, KO. That was good. One point of defense. Yeah, some of my characters never hit their stat caps, and then there's Avaro who's hit all six of his. Mikayu, get a level up. Ah, good girl. You'll... will not be of much use in this fight. She's weak against fire. And... Yorin isn't weak against fire, so he will be of use in this fight. Sneak away. Hmm. Nah, I'll let it. I'll allow it. Actually, you're level 29. Let's ignore you for now. I actually have a few of these items that relieve paralysis, so let's get in there and start hitting things. You're in. Go in and punch this thing until it dies. You see, Yorin's a good team player. Mm -hmm. We're not going to need much more in the way of Oops. In the way of healing, so let's just use Fia to weaken these guys. Now those enemies won't attack Yorin. They see him as immune. Ah, well more than immune. So they're going to walk over here and try to kill Deedhelm. 
But Itam is not bad in the tanking department either. Oh man. The one I weakened is in the back, so. Oh, Mikeu got her level ups, leaving Yorin and Eel. Great. Well, let's get punching. <laughs> now we're down to just Eel. <sighs> Alright. Get up here, girl. Yep, mercy ring. That's good. A large healing potion. Man, it's tough having this kind of decision. I can either capture them with eel, or get two items when killing them with eel. Ha. Ah, how depressing. In any case, Mikio got her to level up, so I'm going to send her back to base. Madam, Alright, capture this enemy eel. Hey, a level up. That means that I can have all of my level 29 characters participate. Let's do your in. Because, as will be revealed later, Detom's going to get a good amount of experience this time. Why can't you move? Oh, ha 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 I equipped her with the Mercy Ring while she's floating in the void, so she can't fly anymore. Alright, now she can move. Man, I've done that on purpose before, but I've never done it on accident. That's a new one for me. Kodokaisha. Uh, Yorin, thanks for everything. Goodbye. You get to wait right there for other people to show up and do things. Oops. And I forget why I brought Avaro along in the first place. It would have been faster to bring Mikao up to this one and have her leave from here. Hey guys, do you remember Karin? 
Of course, you remember Cotting. Everybody remembers Cotting. But Cotting is going to tank Kalinurg for us. I mean, I don't even want to deal with his attacks. Especially that hurry of effect attack. So I'm going to lure him down to this square, have Karin there, and then there will be a couple of spaces I can put characters in where they will be safe. Yeah, that hurry of effect to go. Notice it take a third of Yorin's life. Fortunately, he is only here to help with control problems. The remainder will be done by Kaurin, who will be practically invincible in a couple of turns. And you other people, just wait for it. Yeah. Uh, that's wrong, Kaurin. You should have done your ranged attack. Okay. Well, him being in that spot puts a damper on what I plan to do. But I can always wait. Perfect. No, too much damage. All right, Karin, you are done actually hitting, hitting back. Um. There isn't actually any reason for Fia to be hanging around at this point. Oh jeez. Actually. Let's get a healer over here. Although you is not very much in danger from Kalamerg, I still think that he can't take a fist to the face at this point. So once he's healed a couple times, we'll send him in there for that mining. Alright, back to the... Oh, he's already got the Mercy Ring. This is just free experience. Now, for whatever reason, in my trial runs, Calmerica has never actually attacked you, preferring to attack Cotton. But we'll see. Yep, same thing. Kalmerg, perhaps you're wondering why I'm having Detail murder your ass every single turn. And why I'm cruelly not letting you die. You know what, you should reflect on that. You should think about why I would want to do induce such torture upon you. Are you thinking? You're not thinking, are you? No, oh, wait. She could have just unsummoned herself from anywhere.
Hmm. How close is Deedhelm to a level up, I wonder? He might get a level up, in which case I'll want to bring in another level 29 character to finish him off with. Perfect. Mama. Now you might wonder why I brought Avaro over here, but that's because this exists. So the secret transport teleporter into a treasure room. Merrick, do you think you have suffered enough? Well, I don't think you've suffered enough. So, continue suffering. I didn't expect this. <sighs> Alright. Run away, Mikayu. Uh, actually, run away, you too, Detail. Well, no. His range check still doesn't make it this far. So, keep taking cheap shots. I don't mind. But if Mikayu can't kill him, or rather can't stay there safely, I guess I'll have to rely on somebody else. Funny, I had Eel stand there in my trial runs, both of them. And Kalmerg every single time would attack Karin instead. Now, a lot of my characters have gotten a rank up at level 30, but not Detail, apparently. This risks a area of effect attack which would actually hit hurt detail but he decides not to fortunately or perhaps he's too low on spell points <laughs> great that's what we need countering with more defense Alright. If that's the way it's gonna be, we'll do it with Eel. Alright, we're almost done. And we just about run out of the turns they were gave us to do it in too. Oh yeah, he got plus one to his attack. Now, since Eel has five when she equips the full meal, I can run in there from safety. So I just wanted to explore the room and I'll take this cheap shot 
And then I get to kill a boss with Fool Nail. That is so awesome because I get double drops. Wait a minute, didn't I get the Fool Meal from this guy the first time? I guess we're going to find out, aren't we? Bam! That was like 80 experience. Two more Fool Meals! This is awesome! I'm just going to enjoy how awesome it is for a second. Okay, thanks for bearing with me. We're done! Wait. Where's my true pearl stone? I have enough stars to get true pearl stone. Give it to me! Well, in truth, I didn't get it either of my trial runs, so it's a low <coughs> drop. Shut the hell up. Okay, this has been a long enough battle, so we're not going to listen to you right now. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.